This is 219 News Now, brought to you by Strachan Van Til, making lives easier for 94 years. Hi, I'm Sonny Santana, and this is your 219 News Now. Lake County Commissioners agreed to send out a request for proposals for entities interested in constructing a convention center. It's in connection with legislation that provides up to $5 million in annual state funds for the project. A recent study ranked Holbert's Patriot Park as the best location, followed by Hard Rock Casino, the former Century Mall in Merrillville, the former Star Plaza in Merrillville, and the Kennedy I-94 area in Hammond. A Lake County prosecutor who proposed no jail time in a fatal domestic case is asking to be replaced. Tara Villarreal struck a deal that would have allowed Matthew Urquidy to plead guilty to criminal confinement and attend an alternative program. Urquidy is accused of forcing 29-year-old Shonda Crow into a vehicle then speeding away as she jumped out and ultimately died from her injuries. Judge Jeffrey Clymer rejected the plea, saying he would have to see some time behind bars to consider a plea. And in sports, Boone Grove Boys Volleyball has been ranked in the top 10 all year. The Wolves won the South Central Sectional and now travel to Perry Meridian, where they face Southport in regionals at 9 a.m. region time on Saturday. Here's a couple of spikes by Boone in a sectional win over Northridge. As you're looking at those blocks by Boone, they can put up a wall, and there you go. I mean, right there you saw that hit by Mason Coates. That one barely gets over there. Ian Wilson is very strong at the net also. He put up kind of a weak serve there, but there you go. There you go, coming from the side, and that one is Cameron Dixon. And in some other sports news, here's a look at some softball action in the region. Andrean taking on Portage at the Crown Point Sportsplex. Bottom of the first, 59ers leading 2-0 early. Shea Spillman with runners in scoring position puts one in the left center gap for a two RBI double. They go to the second, up four. Next inning, Spillman with another RBI chance. She slaps it up the middle to score Aubrey Grasha, and it's 6-0 now. Bottom of the fourth, 59ers leading 12-0. The freshman, J.C. Alba, with the bases loaded, crushes it to the outfield wall, and here come Laney Dukas, Addison Kammer, and Matty McCoy in the score. Ball goes into the outfield, and it's an inside-the-park home run. Andrean wins 18-0. To read up more on these stories, head to NWI.com. I'm Sonny Santana, and this was your 219 News Now.